Uh, I just got an email from the ACS Why Kill at State Gov. And what is, is the subject line is alert. State of emergency and curfews in Ecuador. In big red letters here it says, message for U.S. citizens, state of emergency and curfews declared October 3rd, 2024. So there is a state of emergency it's starting today, 2024. Ecuadorian President Daniel Noboa declared a state of emergency for 60 days in the provinces of Guayas, Los Rios, Manabí, that's here where Monta is, uh, Orellana, San Elena, El Oro, as well as Distrito Metro, well, the, the Metropolitan Quito, okay, in Pachincha, and Camillo, Ponce, Enriquez, and Azoe. The state of emergency was declared in response to an increase in violence, crimes, and the presence of organized criminal groups, and is intended to facilitate the work of the armed forces and national police in the ongoing internal armed conflict that was declared on January 9th, 2024. In addition to the state of emergency, curfews will also be in place every day from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the following areas. Uh, it's the same areas as listed above, except they didn't list Monabi. So I don't, that, who knows, that Monabi could be included, but I don't see it in writing here. So I'm, you know, we'll take that for what it's worth. That'd probably be subject to change on a moment's notice. U.S. citizens should comply with curfews, local laws, and the Department of State's travel advisory for Ecuador. U.S. citizens, resi US citizen residents, and travelers should expect heavy military and police presence throughout Ecuador during these periods, which may include checkpoints on roads. Be aware that power outages may cause additional challenges. U.S. citizens should exercise caution during electrical outages, especially during periods of darkness, including taking measures to protect personal safety. We recommend planning for power outages by stocking up on essential items such as food, water, medical supplies, and other personal items. International airports in Quito and Waikil will remain fully operational during the state of emergency, curfews, and electrical outages. Travelers should monitor their flight status closely. Travel to and from the airport is permitted during the curfew hours for individuals with a scheduled flight. U.S. citizens traveling to or from the airport for a scheduled flight should carry their flight itinerary and their passport, okay? So if you're coming to Ecuador, be sure you have your flight itinerary and your passport with you at all times until you get to your destination, okay? So I'm gonna put uh, the additional information in the description, uh, contact information, some links that you might wanna follow, and that's all there is to it. Again, we have a state of emergency and curfews declared for 60 days as declared by the president. And this just came out today at 2.42 p.m. Okay, welcome to Ecuador.